You're watching Fox 40, news that matters. It has now been almost 50 years since members of the Manson family murdered actress Sharon Tate and four of her friends, as well as committed several other murders and crimes across Southern California. Yeah, and backing up a little bit, earlier this year, two separate parole panels recommended parole for two members of the Manson family. In the past, Governor Brown has denied those requests, and at this point, it's unknown exactly how Governor Newsom will rule on that. Fox 40's Doug Johnson has more on how some family members of victims are working to ensure they stay behind bars. Governor Gavin Newsom is facing his first big parole test as two members of the Manson family have now been recommended for parole. I think he's, he's an intelligent man. He's a successful man. So I hope that he makes a decision that it, it is a comprehensive one that includes what these people did specifically. Anthony DiMaria, who spoke to Fox 40 by phone, says his uncle Jay Sebring was one of five victims killed by four of Charles Manson's followers on the night of August 8, 1969. He, he was a very uh, charismatic man, and he left a very indelible impression on me, but also in the people who were close to him. The night after the Tate murders, a then 19-year-old Leslie Van Houten joined the same group of Manson followers to kill supermarket executive Leno LaBianca and his wife Rosemary. In January, she was recommended for release by a parole board, as was 71-year-old Manson follower Robert Boussoulet. Weeks before the Tate murders, Boussoulet and two other Manson family members kidnapped and tortured Gary Hinman, a music teacher and Ph.D. student at UCLA. Boussoulet currently resides in the California Medical Facility in Vacaville. Although neither Van Houten nor Boussoulet was there the night Di Maria's uncle was killed, he's advocating they not be released. The people who committed these crimes, they acted collectively. It was all in concert, and the egregious, severe nature of their crimes um, that's the very least they can do is spend the rest of their lives behind bars. And Dean Maria says he has sent a letter to Governor Gavin Newsom asking him to not allow these two members of the Manson family out of prison. But he says at this point in time, he doesn't want to speculate on what the governor might do. Anytime a governor is making a decision, there's concerns. But I would not presume one way or the other in this case. But Dean Maria says he is concerned with how the two parole panels handled their hearings. Sometimes those questions are... Uh, presumptive that this was a cult or that they were brainwashed but these were not followers these were these were cold-blooded killers of one of the most notorious crime organizations and murder organizations in american history in sacramento doug johnson fox 40 news and a little bit more on this story as well. Sharon Tate's sister, Deborah, tells Fox 40 that she has also sent Governor Newsom a letter asking them not to be released. Calls to the Manson family's attorneys were not returned as of this hour on Friday. Governor Newsom's office also has yet to respond to our request for a comment. As for Charles Manson, uh, he died in a hospital in Kern County while he was still in custody two years ago. Tracy, police responded to two different neighborhoods.